Hello. Today, we talk about infertility by following the story of Scarlett and Mark. Scarlett and Mark, both in their mid-30s, have been married for five years, but due to their busy work schedules, they are gradually growing apart. After around two years of trying to conceive a child, they started thinking that maybe one of them is infertile. Now, what is infertility? The general consensus for a definition is that it is the inability to conceive after a year of sexual intercourse. Scarlett and Mark have been trying to conceive for a reasonable period of two years, which is over the length of time needed to meet the requirement of infertility. When suspecting of infertility, the first recommended step is to see a doctor. It is common to wonder why you or your partner may be infertile. Infertility is caused by a wide variety of factors and can stem from both the male and female body. 50% of all cases of infertility are affected by male factor infertility, and 30% of them are solely affected by male factor infertility. Low sperm count, abnormal sperm shape, as well as abnormal sperm motility are all part of male factor infertility. One of the most common causes of male factor infertility are hormonal irregularities and genetics, as they can both account for why a male may be producing dysfunctional sperm. Exposure to toxins like chemotherapy, radiation, anabolic steroids, tobacco, alcohol, and other drugs can also affect sperm production. Additionally, neurological issues, infectious disease, and disorders that affect the lungs, kidneys, or liver can also lead to impairments in sperm production or delivery of sperm to the female genital tract. For females, age is the most commonly associated cause of infertility. This association is a result of the increase in the average age of having a child. As women age, their fertility declines. A woman's fertility starts to decline in her early 30s, with the decline speeding up after the age of 35. This is mostly due to the ovaries becoming less efficient. Another factor for female infertility is endometriosis. It is a disease that is characterized by the development of endometrial tissue outside of the uterus causing pain and infertility. Specifically, endometriosis has a 50% prevalence rate in infertile women. This disease causes inflammation, making the uterus an inhospitable environment, and can damage the embryo. In severe cases, endometriosis can block the fallopian tubes and block sperm migration. Endometriosis reduces reproductive potential by approximately 10%, but it is noted that endometriosis lowers fertility but does not prevent conception. Female infertility also includes problems with cervix, damage to the fallopian tubes or uterus, as well as problems with ovulation, which is the process through which female eggs are released by ovaries. Overcoming infertility can be a challenging task, but there are some lifestyle changes that can help you increase the chances of getting pregnant. For example, eating a healthy diet, not smoking, exercising regularly, drinking alcohol in moderation, reducing stress, as well as consulting a doctor are all things that can help. Additionally, there are some medical treatments that can help if infertility continues. Some couples want to explore more traditional or over-the-counter efforts before exploring infertility procedures. There are numerous fertility drugs available to help make males and females more viable, reproductively speaking. For example, Breval Vial is a common female fertility drug. It provides the hormones that help cause the ovaries to produce eggs. This medication helps with the growth and release of a mature egg during ovulation. Most fertility drugs for men are gonadotropins, which stimulate the testes to produce testosterone and sperm. It is best to consult healthcare personnel about which fertility drug to use based on your age, sex, and medical history, among other factors. A common medical procedure to correct for male factor infertility is intrauterine insemination, abbreviated to IUI. An IUI involves placing sperm inside a woman's uterus to make fertilization easier. The goal is to increase the number of sperm that reach the fallopian tubes and therefore increase the chance of fertilization. The IUI treatment gives the sperm an advantage by giving it a head start, but still requires the sperm to reach and fertilize the egg on its own. The cost for this procedure is approximately $1,000. In vitro fertilization is a procedure in which mature eggs are collected from the ovaries and fertilized by sperm in a lab. Then the fertilized egg or embryo is implanted in the uterus. The IVF treatment is often stated as being the most effective form of assisted reproductive technology. IVF treatment can be performed using the mother's eggs and the partner's sperm, or the IVF may involve eggs, sperm, or even embryos from known or anonymous donors. The cost of an IVF treatment can be from $20,000 to $25,000 per female reproductive cycle. This treatment may be used in severe cases such as when there are damaged fallopian tubes, 
low sperm count, ovulation disorders, and unexplained infertility, among other reasons. If you've been diagnosed with infertility or fear you may have trouble conceiving in the future, you're not alone. The medical industry is forever making advances in this field. Make an appointment with your doctor and go over your concerns. Even if you are diagnosed with infertility, you may still be able to conceive.